A veteran and his family say this year the holidays will have a new meaning for them. They have a place to live after struggling with homelessness. That is tonight's top story. That help came from the Humility Homes and Services. It launched its Veterans Transitional Housing Program at the beginning of October. Money for it comes from the VA grant and per diem program to address homelessness among former military families. So far, placed two families into apartments. They can stay there for two years while working toward getting their own place. Local 4 Sean Logging joins us in the studio after talking with the first family to go through that program. Sean? Jim Tiffany, Tony Haynes, Megan Nelson, and their soon-to-be three-year-old daughter have faced months of living out of their car. Then in September, they learned about a new opportunity. Now they don't just have a place to lay their heads at night, but more importantly, a sense of normalcy for their toddler. Grow up as a kid. It's a good life for Tony Haynes and Megan Nelson when their young daughter has room to play. Gave us access to a lot of toys that she could have for free. But before they got the keys to their new home, it's been a difficult few years. That's when home was often their truck. I remember uh, we were living in a tent for a little bit. Now they're marking a month and a half in their three-bedroom townhouse. Fully furnished, brand new washer and dryer in it. They gave us cleaning supplies. They, we had bed, beds in all the rooms. She even had a toddler bed in her room. It's operated by Humility Homes and Services, the new program aimed at veterans with at least one kid under 18 years old. But it goes beyond helping them afford a place to live. Come out on the weekends, on their time off, to actually sit down and talk to you, find out how you're doing, what you need. Completely stable before exiting the program, so just making sure that they are employed and that they do have some sort of income. Haynes, who served two years in the U.S. Army, says one of the most difficult parts of breaking the cycle is taking that first step. They don't want to knock that pride down, but there comes a point where you actually have to suck it up and move because you don't want your family growing up like that. Now Haynes and Nelson are working toward life after the program, a permanent home and a better life for their daughter. Save enough money over the two years and then go out and buy us a place. The program can support up to five families at a time. Humility relies on some of their existing programs along with the VA and other area partners to help support those in the program. Each family can use this housing service up to three times in their lifetime. In the studio, Sean Logging, Local 4 News. Sean, thank you. Local 4 News went deeper to find out how many veterans are homeless in the two-state region. We obtained the 2017 Annual Homeless Assessment Report from Congress. It shows there are about 170 homeless veterans in Iowa. That population is higher in Illinois at about 860. Those numbers are down from previous years for the two states. However, there were more homeless veterans nationwide last year. 